In this video, we are going to see the basics of Fourier transform. So, let us start. Fourier transform. So, Fourier series can be applied only for periodic signals. So, if we go for aperiodic signals, then we can use Fourier transform. So, Fourier transform of X of T is represented as capital X of J omega. So, Fourier transform converts the time domain signal into frequency domain signal. That is, this is represented using time domain representation. The, and the Fourier transform is represented using the frequency domain representation. So, inverse Fourier transform of X of J omega is equal to X of T. So, this is the formula for Fourier transform and inverse Fourier transform. Fourier transform X of J omega equal to integral minus infinity infinity X of T e power minus J omega T into dt for all omega. Then inverse Fourier transform X of T equal to 1 by 2 pi integral minus infinity infinity X of J omega into e power J omega T into d omega T. So, here these two equations are called as Fourier transform pairs. So, in general we can write x of j omega is equal to x r of j omega plus j into x i of j omega. This is the real part and this is our imaginary part. So, if we want to find the magnitude of this then modulus of x of j omega equal to root of x r square of j omega plus x i square of j omega and phase of x of j omega that is angle of x of j omega is equal to tan inverse of x i of j omega divided by x r of j omega. If we draw a graph between modulus of x of j omega and omega means then it is called as amplitude spectrum and if we draw the plot between angle of x of j omega and omega then it is called as phase spectrum. So, if we want to apply Fourier transform to a signal means then it should satisfy these two conditions. The first condition is x of t is absolutely integrable over minus infinity to infinity. That is if we take integration of x of t over the interval minus infinity to infinity then we should get a finite value as the answer. If it is equal to infinity means then we cannot apply the Fourier transform to that signal. Then the second condition x of t helm should have finite number of discontinuities and finite number of maxima and minima in every finite time interval. That means for each interval we should have a finite number of discontinuities and maxima and minima. Now we are going to solve some problems. First problem, find the Fourier transform of the following and sketch the magnitude and phase spectrum. So first subdivision 1 x of t equal to del of t, subdivision 2 x of t equal to e power minus a t into e of t x of t equal to e power minus modulus of t and x of t equal to e power 2t into u of t. So, first x of t equal to del of t. So, del of t is nothing but unit impulse function. So, we know at t equal to 0 del of t value is equal to 1 and t is not equal to 0 means its value is equal to 0. So, by applying Fourier transform we will be getting x of j omega equal to integral minus infinity to infinity x of t into e power minus j omega t into dt. Here instead of x of t we have to substitute del of t. We know del of t equal to 0 for t not equal to 0 and it is equal to 1 for t equal to 0. So we will be getting the value only at t equal to 0. So in this equation you have to substitute t equal to 0. So del of 0 into e power 0. So what is del of 0? Its value is equal to 1. e power 0 value is also equal to 1. So capital X of j omega is equal to 1. That means Fourier transform of X of t is equal to 1. Now we have to take the magnitude and phase. So here there is no imaginary part. So modulus of X of j omega equal to 1 and angle of x of j omega equal to 0. So, there is no phase spectrum. We need only amplitude spectrum. So, omega value minus omega to plus omega. We have to draw the axis. Here the answer is only 1. So, that we have to draw a constant 1 as the amplitude. So, this is the amplitude spectrum. So, next problem x of t is equal to e power minus a t into u of t. So, here e power minus a t, this is an exponential function. So, we know e power minus a t means we will be getting the graph like this. So, 
capital X of j omega, this is for a transfer formula, is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity x of t into e power minus j omega t into dt. Here, instead of x of t, you have to substitute e power minus a t into u of t. We know u of t is the unit step function. So, unit step function means 0 to infinity, its value is equal to 1. Then, minus infinity to 0, its, its value is equal to 0. So, we can take integral 0 to infinity e power minus a t into e power minus j omega t into dt. So, whenever u of t comes, you have to replace it by the integration 0 to infinity. We have to change the limit to 0 to infinity. So, now integrate it. So, integration of e power minus a t e power minus a t divided by minus c. Then apply the limit. So, you will be getting the answer as 1 by a plus j omega. Now, you have to calculate the magnitude. So, modulus of x of j omega equal to 1 divided by root of a square plus omega square. Then, angle, angle of x of j omega, this is phase, is equal to tan inverse of minus omega by a. So, that is minus tan inverse of omega by a. Now here we have to assume a is equal to 2. So if you substitute a is equal to 2 and omega is equal to 0. So what value you get for modulus of x of j omega and angle of x of j omega. So ha you have to take the readings. So using this reading only we have to draw the plot. So this is for the limit 0 to infinity and here it is minus infinity to 0. So for various values of omega you have to calculate modulus of x of omega and angle of x of j omega. So using we this have to draw the graph. So this is the amplitude spectrum and this is the phase spectrum. Also you have to remember if it is e power minus at means you will be getting the graph like this that is right hand side and if it is e power plus at means you will be getting the graph on the left hand side. So next problem x of t equal to e power minus modulus of t. So whenever that comes modulus means the meaning is we have to take plus t value as well as minus t value. So capital X of j omega is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity e power minus modulus of t e power minus j omega t into dt. So here first we are taking e power plus t and the next limit we are taking e power minus t. Already we have seen from the note that e power plus t means the limit is from minus infinity to 0 and e power minus t means the limit is 0 to infinity. That means this is right hand side graph, this is left hand side graph. So now we have to integrate it. So if we integrate it, you will be getting the answer as 2 divided by 1 plus omega square. Then calculate the modulus of x of j omega that is magnitude. So x of j omega equal to 2 divided by 1 plus omega square. Then phase of x of j omega is equal to 0. Since this value is equal to 0, the phase spectrum is not applicable. Now for various values of omega, calculate what is modulus of x of j omega. This is from 0 to infinity and this tabulation is from minus infinity to minus 1. So you will be getting the graph like this. So this is the amplitude spectrum. <coughs> So next problem, x of t equal to e power 2t into u of t. So already we have seen u of t unit step function means that integration limit changes to 0 to infinity. So if we integrate this x of t, it, its value is equal to infinity because e power 2t into dt, when we integrate this, you will be getting e power 2t divided by 2. Then we are, if we apply the limit, you will be getting e power infinity equal to infinity. So it becomes infinity value. So therefore Fourier transform does not exist. Another one problem. Obtain the Fourier transform of a rectangular pulse of duration 2 seconds and having magnitude of 10 volts as shown in the figure. So here the time duration is 2 seconds and the amplitude is 10 volts. So Fourier transform of x of t. Integral minus infinity infinity x of t into e power minus j omega t into dt. We know x of t is equal to 10, limit 0 to 2. So integral 0 to 2, 10 into e power minus j omega t into dt. Now we have to integrate it and apply the limit. So if we integrate and apply the limit, it will be
10 divided by minus j omega e power minus j omega minus e power j omega divided by j omega this is just simplification then by using Euler's identity we can write this term as sin omega then sin omega divided by omega this is called as sinc function so we can write it as sinc of omega therefore the answer is capital X of j omega equal to 20 into e power minus j omega sinc of omega